In this video, you are going to learn how you can decrypt the HTTPS traffic using the Wireshark. Before beginning, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. That's how we will stay connected. So, and also in the meantime, you are going to analyze the malware, which is Dutrix. If you're not familiar with the Dutrix, is also you can find the information about this one i will put the link in the description and then you can research what is exactly does and how it behaves and so on so basically this is the dutrix is the trying to download from the spreadsheet excel file which use the use the macros that's try to give the access to the bad people so you are going to analyze both together today i will put all this link in the description and you will able to download and you are able to analyze and research this Dutrix malware so now first thing i am going to download wireshark traffic analyze from the github repository there is a zip file it is encrypted with the password and the password is infected i am going to download this package with the zip file once I downloaded and also I will do the extract with a pass and it will ask us to do there is one more and we will extract this one again with the password which is INFECTED so once we use the password we will see this is the actually the key files that is if you are trying to decrypt the any https traffic you need a key so that's why this is very important so also you need the certificate key for that so just make sure that you have these files while you are trying to decrypt the https traffic which is encrypted and also in the meantime https is always not secure this will prove that this will help you to prove that https is always not safer once you are done with the downloading and go ahead and extract it open with the wireshark you don't have to do anything you just open the wireshark here once you open the wireshark so this one is someone capture for us which is middleman attacker and we don't know the source we don't know the destination you are totally blank we need to find out what exactly affected what exactly happened and we will go from there so first thing if you are not familiar with this wireshark please check my last video i already uploaded about the wireshark and how you can analyze the http traffic and how you can crack the password with the words are i will also put the link in the description so you will able to find easily and then also if you don't want to do any package list or if you don't want to package detail you can you can always go ahead and disable this one so you can just it's clear and we can find the more more information about that okay so again if you want to do packet by you can always come here and try it so i like this one in the meantime you have to filter by tls handshake we are looking for the successful connection first in this particular https traffic i will show you how exactly the traffic is encrypted and how exactly we are going to decrypt it so if you click here i need the source and destination port here so i will add more columns and add more I will say destination port. I will put here DST and you can put any name there. I will also put the SRC and I will say here as the source source port. Okay, and then you, once you are done with that, you can just click on here and you can scroll a little bit here because this is last, it should somewhere here. And you can also do same thing for source somewhere this, or you can just put source as the source, destination at the destination. So it will be easier to analyze this source destination port. 
all right so once you add this one here i will make some filter here so the filter will be we are looking for the successful connection so the successful connection looks like tls dot handshake handshake and i will say equals to one and also add type once you do that hit enter and you will see a bunch of traffic with the tls version 1.2 and you'll see the source you'll see the destination with the port that which we added earlier so now if you go ahead and right click it flow the tls or tcp stream you you literally see nothing so if you see all everything is encrypted here now let's go to edit preferences and if you click here protocols and we will go a little bit down further down and we will say tls there is a pre-master secret log because that needs to be very important because if you don't have the key file that not gonna happen with the encryption so make sure you downloaded the text file too so this is the key you need to open it once you open it click ok and now you'll see a little bit different here you can see more information and you can do the same thing one more time tls handshake type one equals to one you'll see a lot of information here and if you click any of them let's find out other one so now you can see these are these are already decrypted so if you see right click one more uh, tls stream you can see a lot of information so i without being said what we need to do here is let's do one more time and we're looking for the successful connection all right so let's do tls the TLS stream and you will see the information here once you are done here after that let's find out the exactly what happened okay so you can do TCP dot stream equals to one and you'll see a bunch of information about the hello package and how the traffic was negotiated all those things and you can also do the flow you can see the information here okay now let's do one more information here with the let's do open the bracket close the bracket tls dot handshake dot type i will say equals to one or http request okay so i i will say and SSDP. Once you are doing this one, that will filter the TLS handshake and HTTP request with the SSDP. If you're not familiar with SSDP, you can obviously find for that information. That will be very helpful. I'm not going to explain it. So once you hit enter, we will see the bunch of information that is really interesting so what i'm seeing here is the invest underscore 
20.dll this is very interesting for me so it is actually requesting the bunch of dll information from the infected computer which is source with this port and destination with this ip addresses this is not supposed to it is also requesting the get so get is if you float you'll see the information so host is a food good life for liver.com something like that and then if you see so that is requesting with the dll and then it will say it is trying to browse from the mozilla firefox it will say okay so this is the request that is trying to get and also if you see the application that is octet stream all the information and this is the dll from here starting and also this is very interesting you can obviously you can save as a dll file so i will show you how we can exactly save as a dll file this is the tls with the flow right now so for the exporting you can just click on the export object you can do http we are only interested in the invest dll underscore 20. so you can do save obviously we will save inside that folder click on save close now that dll file it's saved and also this is a good test with the malware obviously so this is the malware that is injected to that pc that requested all the information let's go back with the tls enter one more time so so i'm just trying to explain how the exactly infected so if you see right here this is the program cannot be run in the dos mode that is how the first thing that that is triggered so that means that file is trying to run as the dos mode which will give the information to the bad people and make the connection happen so without being said after saving the dll file let's open the virus total so i already saved the file inside this folder if you see here this is the dll file and i'm gonna upload to the virus total so that will gives us more how the malware exactly do right how it behaves so i will choose this file here and drag it okay so once it's dragged we will see bunch of information this was from the detection how the different kinds of antivirus detected so if you click on details you'll see when was reported when was created when was what exactly file that are infected you can just do crowd dry crowd dll and a lot of information you can see it here and also you can see the good information about the signature is not signed and this is also red flag you can also do one more thing here this is also good practice if you're malware analyzing this how it behaves you'll see bunch of information that was detected and what process what exactly do and then all those things here and if you see the relation here that will be summary of how exactly that they executed okay so and if you see right here this is the exact information that was investment talk which is kind of someone sent it to the financial institution that's trying to extract if you see office and uh, if you click on that obviously you will see the same behaviors with the different interaction if you click it if you'll see all the domains here and then if you see that was embedded all those ip address here and then that will make you the successful connection i will do one more step to show you let's do nbns so that will also find the good information and you can forward it, this information to your SOC team that will find and investigate and furthermore what exactly 
which PC it was infected. Looks like a desktop dash U54A something like that was that PC was infected and it is under workgroup. Also, it is using the browser to register. This is the IP address they are trying to source and destination. I will put the, all this link in the description below and you can always go ahead and check those information. I hope you like this video. If you haven't followed me, please go ahead and follow me, like, share and subscribe. I will see you in my next video. If you have any questions, please comment below. Thank you for watching.